Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five DIY lip balms that you've never seen before. If you enjoy this video, please click that like button and comment down below with any future video suggestions you might have. If you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more fun DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first idea will be a Galaxy Lip Balm. I'll show you a couple different ways to make this one. For the first one, I'm going to use one of these mini silicone baking pans. A silicone cupcake tray will also work. I started by coating the squares that I was going to use with some olive oil. To make this lip balm, I'm going to start by using some shea butter. In a microwave safe container, I added three tablespoons of shea butter. Next, I added in three tablespoons of coconut oil and melted that in the microwave on 20 second increments until it was fully melted. Here is mine once it was melted down. To give these the galaxy colors, I'm going to use a pink, a purple, and a blue crayon. If you're not comfortable with using a crayon, you can use lipstick as well. I'm going to use three separate cups and just equally pour out the lip balm mixture into those and then drop each of the crayon pieces in there and stir them together until they're melted. For the stars, I will be using the Silver Edible Stars. For a couple of them, I'm going to sprinkle the stars on the bottom, and then for the other ones, I will sprinkle the stars on the top. Once I had my stars in there, then I just alternated between the pink, the blue, and the purple lip balm until they were full. Once they were all full, I placed that in the freezer for about 20 minutes. For mine after I took them out of the freezer, and now they will just pop out of the squares. And that is how you make this version of the Galaxy Lip Balms. Other way you can make these is by using a lip balm container and just repeat the same process as mixing up the lip balm mixture and the stars. After this video, be sure to head down to the link below and check out some of my other DIY lip balm videos like this one. And here are how these ones turned out. That's how you make these easy Galaxy DIY lip balms. The second lip balm will be a unicorn lip balm. For this one, you will need a unicorn cookie cutter. I will leave a link down below to where I got this one. Start 
by going around the cookie cutter with some olive oil. Make the lip balm in a microwave safe container. I'm going to add five tablespoons of beeswax along with five tablespoons of coconut oil and melt that in the microwave on 30 second increments until it is fully melted. To tint this one pink, I use some lipstick. Next, use a cookie sheet that has been in the freezer for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then take a piece of parchment paper and cover the top and place the cookie cutter on top. This is optional, but I'm going to sprinkle some edible pink glitter on top of mine once I pour it into the cookie cutter. Start pouring the lip balm mixture into the cookie cutter. Make sure to press down hard on the cookie cutter. Some will still leak out, but that's okay. Once the cookie cutter is filled, sprinkle with the edible glitter and place in the freezer. Here is mine once I took it out of the freezer and the cookie cutter. And that's all there is to this easy unicorn lip balm. The next idea will be DIY mermaid lip balm. For this one, I will be using these silicone mermaid tails. I will leave a link down below to where I found these. I started by putting some olive oil in each of the mermaid tails. To make the lip balm for this one, I'm going to use two tablespoons of beeswax along with two tablespoons of coconut oil. Melt that in a microwave safe container in the microwave on 20 second increments until it is fully melted. To tint this one, I'm going to use some eyeshadow. If you aren't comfortable with using eyeshadow, you can use edible glitter or you can also use Kool-Aid. Once that was all mixed together, I poured into each of the mermaid tails and set that in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Here are both of mine after I took them out of the freezer. Just flip them over and the mermaid tails will pop out. And here are both of the mermaid tails. To protect the lip balms, I'm going to put them in a resealable plastic bag. A Ziploc bag would also work. And this will also work for the unicorn lip balm too. If you just want to use the mini mermaid tail, just use one tablespoon of beeswax along with one tablespoon of coconut oil. To this one, I added some lipstick to give it a tint poured it into the mermaid tail and put that in the freezer. And here is this one when I took it out of the freezer. And I just made several different colors. And that's how you make these easy DIY mermaid tail lip balms. The fourth and fifth idea will be an aquarium fish and dolphin lip balm in a bag. To make the mini bag for these, I'm going to use a plastic bag and cut off the bottom. To seal the open side shut, I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper, fold it over, place the bag in the middle, use a metal ruler as a guide, and then use an iron to seal it shut. And here is mine once it was sealed. To make the lip balm in a microwave safe container, I'm going to add some Vaseline. I melted that in the microwave on 20 second increments until it was fully melted. To give this the blue color like the water, I'm going to use some of this edible blue shimmer dust. 
once my mixture was melted, I just sprinkled in some of the blue shimmer dust. Here is mine once it was all mixed together. Find a bottle that will fit in the bag and cut off the bottom and use that as a funnel to pour the lip balm mixture through into the bag. Once the lip balm mixture is in the bag, place that in the freezer for about three to five minutes. I will be using these little mini fish and dolphins. I will leave a link down below to where I found these. Here is my lip balm after about four minutes in the freezer. I cut a little bit off the top of the bag and then I took my fish, placed it in the lip balm and placed it back in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And here is my fish in the bag after I took it out of the freezer. And then you can take some lip balm out of the bag and apply it to your lips. And to seal the bag, just twist it up and for this one, I'm going to wrap a pipe cleaner around it. And there is the little mini fish in a bag lip balm. And for the dolphin one, I applied the same procedures as I did before, but for this one, I used a dolphin to make it look like it was jumping out of the lip balm. And another way to seal these is to twist the top on it and use a little mini clip. And that's how you make these mini fish and dolphins in a bag lip balms. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these DIY lip balm ideas. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.